The secret to lifelong weight loss is simple and straightforward. However, there are many ways you can go wrong. So think about this for just a second. Like imagine you want to be lean for life. What does that look like to you? And where are you right now compared to that? Wouldn't it make sense if this is what Lean for Life looks like, we reverse engineer the process to where you are right now, and then build a step-by-step -step system to get you there? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty logical, right? Problem is, all of us end up going through the same exact journey, making the same mistakes along the way, and then encountering what I've discovered as seven different plateaus that you need to break through in order to get to this definition of success. So let's talk about that definition of success because that's the first place most people go wrong. So we're gonna switch over to my tablet here. Here's the journey. We call it raising your skill in weight loss. R stands for realization, that's our starting point. So we start with a realization. And that might be, you know, you went to the doctor and you had a medical scare, you're at an all time high in weight. Maybe you were just terrified by what you saw in the mirror one day, you're sick of not wanting to take off your shirt at the beach, that kind of stuff, right? So we have some realization one day and that prompts us to take some kind of action. And then our goal, usually at that point, the goal is, hey, I just wanna lose weight, that's my goal, that's success for me. And that's a mistake. As we talk about in my book, we have this little UCIC. You can read more about it there, but most people's definition of success is CC, which is conscious competence. This is how most people define success. Hey, look, I lost all this weight and it's really a lot of work and I'm kind of miserable and I don't have any flexibility and life kind of sucks, but I'm lean. Yes, success. Maybe not. Okay, so the definition of success that I'm going for is UC, unconscious competence, right here. So we want weight loss to be as easy and automatic as, say, tying our shoes or brushing our teeth. It shouldn't be a big deal. We shouldn't have to think about it. It should be easy and automatic. Because when you do that, then you can have a flexible lifestyle. You can go out and you can party. You can have a great time, and you can not worry about weight coming back. So that's what I mean by lean for life and our definition of success. If you're with me on that definition, if you want to get here, unconscious competence or mastery in weight loss, not just like I'm kind of good at it, but I really have to work hard to do it, but I'm just, I've got this thing down. Then here's how the rest of the journey goes and the mistakes along the way. So let's look at the mistakes real quickly. When we start off, we have that realization, but the first mistake most people have is they do not act right? They wait too long. They gain another 40, 80 pounds. Their health gets worse and worse. Their strength goes away. They feel like crap and they don't want to start anymore later. It just gets harder and harder to start. So the first problem is inaction. And so a lot of people get stopped before they're even started, right? And uh, the next mistake is acting on the wrong things. So if this is our weight loss pie, these are all of our possible weight loss solutions. We have things that don't work all out over here. And then we have a few things that do work in here. And the problem is people, where do they first start? Often it's the 3 a.m. infomercial or the cheap, easy supplement that I can try or all this other crap that just does not work. And so if you're doing the wrong things, you're not going to get to the next stage, which is improvement. Start doing the things that work, which would be in this piece of the pie. Well, that gets you into here. We're going to see some improvements. And this is where they say that, you know, any diet works for a while. And the, the reason for that is if you're actually doing things that work, you're going to get results. Maybe not the best results, maybe not the easiest, maybe not the most sustainable, but you're going to get results because you're finally doing the things that create an energy deficit. Okay, now there are different tiers of results here. Our goal, this evolution, this unconscious competence, that's this little tip of the triangle here, of the, of the pie that actually works. That'll be up here. And essentially, as long as you're doing stuff down here, the stuff might work, but it doesn't work well enough. Then what happens is you end up experiencing stagnation. And you get what I into what I call the IS loop. So you improve, you stagnate, you improve, you stagnate, and essentially, if you start breaking through the seven plateaus in the right way, you start breaking these things, then what happens is you essentially get closer and closer to the mark. You're essentially moving up this pyramid until you finally 
hit the mark where your weight loss loss is safe and simple. Let me just write that down. Safe and simple. Sustainable, automatic, flexible, easy, and simple. So you can have this unconscious competence or this weight loss mastery. And if you're curious about how to break through these seven plateaus, how to avoid these mistakes, how to save yourself, if, if I would have known this stuff when I first started, it probably would have saved me about 20 years of dieting, 20 years, that's a lot, uh, over $10,000 on wasted supplements and gadgets and, and promises that didn't work out. And this is the number one uh, thing that I wish I could have shared with friends and family who are no longer here, who died overweight, and uh, very much in part due to being overweight, um, because it puts most people into a, an earlier grave by about two to 20 years. So if you're interested in this stuff, you know, if this short video has been helpful, then check out the book. Sometimes I have um, free promos on it, uh, you can get it for free, uh, which is a kind of a no-brainer. And again, don't make the first mistake at the very beginning here. Don't wait to act uh, unless you really have a good reason because probably all that's going to happen, you're going to keep on going further and further down that spiral. And by the time that you decide to act, you're going to have to climb your way out of that hole that you dug yourself into, and it's going to be a much harder process. But whatever you decide to do, I hope you found this video informative and useful, and I look forward to seeing your results. Bye.